Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple sunflower in Rhino 3D. And um, this is the finished product. This is what it should look like, um, something like this. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a line. So let's do a line from zero, both sides, and 20 divided by 2. I'm just choosing whatever... Um, like dimensions you I want so um, we're gonna then we're gonna divide the line by three so we have three different different sections the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to create a just a guideline for um, the petals the one petal here one petal here and then the center part so once we're gonna when we're gonna array it it's gonna be approximately 20 mill millimeters in length so after you divide it you're going to split it um, and you're going to split it by the point and you're going to use a point snap and split it by the first point, second point um, from the top. So I'm going to delete that, do a select point and delete those as well because we don't need them. And then we're going to just zoom select the, um, the object so we can see it a little better and it'll, it'll ro the camera will rotate ar around the object. So um, then we're going to create a line from the middle with the mid snap, um, both sides, and we're just going to do a one millimeter line. This is how big your petal is going to be. Um, this is the guideline for the petal. Um, then we're going to do an ellipse um, from here to here with end snap on and from here. So. Now we're going to extrude um, using a solid um, to, I'm going to just do 0.5 millimeters. And once we have that solid down, um, we're going to explode it. And then it'll, it'll explode into these three surfaces. So you're going to delete this outer wall right here. Um, and now we're going to make the surface a little smoother and um, blend the surface. So I'm going to do um, surface tools, um, blend surface, and then click both the edges. And make sure these are aligned because otherwise it'll get some wonky um, results. Press enter. Um, I like to do tangency, but you can choose whatever you, you prefer. And press, press OK. And um, when you do this, it's not going to be joined together. So you're just going to join it together to create a solid. And um, then we're going to use cage edit and also make sure it's a closed poly surface so it's a closed poly surface so we're good to go so cage edit um, bounding box world and I'm going to use the points seven five and two so seven five and two you can also change um, this to your liking but I like to have an odd number for the X because it'll create a line in the down the middle of the pedal so we can edit the middle specifically to create a ridge I'm going to press enter and enter again. So now we have this bounding box that's basically going to allow us to make a surface that is more organic. Um, so I'm going to click one of these points and then select V. And um, I'm use my gumball here to edit the um, surface. Um, so I'm going to drag this downwards um, so that there's a little bit of a crease. Um, once, And then it'll look more like a petal after this. Um, <laughs> so... Then I'm going to just edit, click these, um, turn off gumball and click these points so we can edit a little more. You can edit this to your liking again, um, select V. And here I'm going to just make it a little higher. Oops. I think I'm going to, oops, I, I, think, I think I select the wrong points. But here, let's see, select V again. There we go. Um, I'm gonna make these a little higher so it's more like noticeable because this will be pretty small um, once casted and um, then we're going to turn those points or you can also lock this object so you don't click on it accidentally um, turn those points back on and I'm going to bend the outside of the petal just to get a more organic shape and so that the petal is kind of lifting or turning away from you um, so it's going to be a little bit like that, and then I'm going to edit these, um, and here you go. Okay, so 
once you're happy with it, you can um, unlock it and put this in storage. And you can also change, I'm going to change this to the flower layer. Um, turn off the lines. So now that you like it, if you like it, um, if you want to see if you like it, you can check EMAP and see what kind of surface you're, you've made. Um, I think that's fine, so I'm going to move on. Um, so once you're happy with it, um, you can record history and do a array polar and click the pedal or center. The center, you want it to be zero. And I'm going to do um, 16 petals. 360, press enter. So you want to make sure that the petals are all touching um, just because you want, if you want this to be a pendant or earring or whatever, um, you want them to overlap so they can boolean unit later, later so that it'll be a closed poly surface. So now you're going to, I'm just going to change to my top view and I'm going to um, create a circle, zero. And I'm just going to do like whatever um, however large I want, um, so that I'm going to trim the tips of the petal. So I'm going to change this to ghosted mode and just select the circle again. And we're going to use wire cut. I'm going to select all of the petals, enter, um, click to go through, enter again. So it's deleting it and, um, there we go. So now I'm going to, I'm going to actually go back and control C to copy and then redo so that I can put that circle back in because I did delete before. So now I'm going to just make the center area of the, of the flower. So we're going to go to curve tools, um, use quad snap, and um, create a line using this. This is called the um, vertical to C plane command. So I'm gonna just do a one millimeter line and then mirror that from zero to the other side so that you just make a little bit of a dome shape. Um, and I'm gonna just use the arc command and get end snap, um, have it end on both sides. And I'm just gonna choose like whatever, um, arc that I want and I'm going to fill it the edges so fill it uh, I'm going to do just a one radius and so that's smoother so it'll be more of a dome shape oops and there we have it so now I'm going to just um, create a line from zero to the mid of the arc Um, it's projecting, I think. Um, hmm, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's not from zero. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so let's change that really quick. Um, so go back to quad. Sorry about that, guys. Um, quad one again. And mirror that. So now I can make the arc again. And, um, you know, these mistakes happen, so it's not a big deal, but and I'm just going to fill it the edge. Okay, so now that we're back to that stage, um, so it's from, it's all connected now. So I'm going to do the vertical, vertical to C plane line as well. again, go to mid. So now we have that. This is, is good to use a revolve command now so we can make a little dome shape. Um, curves to revolve. Um, the arc, enter, revolve axis zero to here, and then I'm going to do full circle. So now that we have that dome shape, um, that's almost the end of our flower tutorial. But last thing we're going to do is, um, cap it. So this is a, as you can see, this is an open surface right now. So I'm going to put cap and now it is a close poly surface and, um, I'm going to change these lines to the lines layer really quick because I forgot to do that. And now that we have all the solids, I'm just going to scale this up a little bit from zero. 
so that they're intersecting because when you're going to Boolean union all of these solids together, you're going to want everything being a little oversized. So once you Boolean union it, it'll do it correctly. So go to solid tools, Boolean union, select everything. Um, this might take a little bit. There we go. And it is a closed poly surface. So there, there is your flower. It's really simple, really cool. You can also edit the petal shapes and do whatever you want to make it look more like the flower you want. Um, you can also like change the petals um, so they're they're bowing inside or do some sort of flower or something. And yeah, um, thanks for watching and have a good one.